Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to create dynamic chart for age group or for different number groups. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this chart for employees count by age group. You can see in this chart, this is the age group 20 to 24 years, 25 to 29 years, 30 to 34 years and the other groups. And these are the employee account like 14, 11, 7, 8, 10 and 6. As you are seeing in the chart title, this is for the finance department. If we will select another department, the chart will be changed automatically using this slicer. Now I'll show you the data first. So this is the data. Here I have multiple employee names. It is more than 250 employees here. And this is the department and this is the age in years for each employee now we have created group of age like 20 to 24 the 14 employees are coming under this age group and we have created this beautiful visualization using the spectrographics so this is the slicer method to create this dynamic chart in the next part of this video you will learn how to create the similar chart using option button in place of this slicer so this is the second method wherein you will learn how to create the same chart using these option button if i will select the another option button the chart will be changed automatically here we have not used the slicer we have used the option button in place of slicer so in the next part of this video you will learn this method but in this video you will learn how to create this beautiful chart using slicers so let's start i'm going to the data tab this is the data so what i will do i'll copy this and i will add a new workbook press ctrl n i will paste this data here and i will rename this as data now here i will create the pivot table of this data so just go to the insert select this range click on pivot table and just click on ok you can see this pivot table available on c2 in this pivot table we will put A's in rows and employee name we will put in values so here you can see the count of employee names and this is the age in years now what i will do i'll create a group so just right click on the row label and just click on group this grouping window will be opened now here you can see automatically it is taking 20 and 50 because my minimum range is 20 and maximum range is 50 in my data for the age of employees you can change it if it is required otherwise i'm just keeping as it is i don't want to group it by 10 i want to group it by 5 only so just put here 5 now if you will click on ok there will be a group now if you want to remove this grand total simply right click go to the pivot table option just go to the total and filters and check the grand totals from here for rows and columns so our pivot table will look like this now just select this pivot table go to the insert i'll go to the charts so i'll go to the bar chart i'll insert a bar chart so i'll take this simple bar chart which is clustered bar now i'll go to the analyze and then i'll go to the show height group here you can see this field button drop down is available just click on this and now just click on hide all so all the pivot element available on this chart like count of employee name age in groups will be hidden so just click on hide all you can see now it is looking like a normal chart however it is a pivot chart all right so now i will remove this legend from here just delete this and i don't need this axis also just select and delete this and the grid lines also just click on plus button and uncheck the grid lines now you can add new worksheet so just cut this chart add a new worksheet here and paste this chart here you can rename this whatever you want to let's say chart or dashboard whatever you want to put and this will be your support seat or pivot seat so let's say i'm putting support seat now you can make it hidden but before making it hidden i would like to add a slicer here so i'll go to the analyze and just click on insert slicer make sure you have selected this pivot table then only this analyze tab will be visible so just click on insert slicer 
and here I will insert the slicer for department. So just click on OK. Now just cut this slicer, press Ctrl X, then go to the chart and paste this slicer here. Go to the view and then I will remove the grid lines from this. Now if I will select any department here, you can see the chart will be changed because this is a pivot chart. Now I have icon available in this sheet. So just copy this, go back to this sheet and paste this here. Now you can copy this and select these bars and paste it control B. So our chart will look like this. Just right click go to the format data series here go to the fill and line click on fill and then just scroll it down and click on stack and scale width. Make sure here should be one. So we want to show one image per unit. Unit is employee count. Now you can add the data label also. Just click on add data label. So you can see data labels are available here. If you want to add some design to the data label, just right click and just change data label shape. And you can select this one, let's say, then go to the home fill some color let's say I'm taking this color go to the format remove the shape outline and in home tab make it bold so it will look like this if you want to increase height of this image so right click go to the format data series here you can change the gap width I'm taking around 85 or 80 so now we can make some other changes in our chart like just select this plot area just click anywhere here so this will be visible if you are not able to select this you can right click go to the format data series here in the series option drop down you can select the plot area from here also and just pick this handle and change the size and take around this one so we will keep some space here so that we can put our slicer here before putting our slicer here i would like to make some changes in the slicer style i don't want to take this outside uh, border so i'll go to the option and here i will add my new slicer style in the slicer style i'll select this selected item with data click on format then i'll go to the fill and here for the selected item i'll take the black color then I'll go to the font for the black background. I'll take the white font and make it bold. Click on OK. This is for selected item with data. Now I'll take unselected item with data. Click on format. This time I'll take this color. Click on OK. And that's it. Now we will apply this new style on this slicer. Just select, go to the option slicer style. You can see this is available here. Just click here. Now right click on the slicer go to the slicer setting and here just uncheck this display header we don't want to display the header just click on ok resize this slicer now we will format this chart so just select this chart go to the format here the shape outline we will take this blue color you can take any other color also let's say i'm taking this one light blue and then i'll go to the format chart area here i will go to the fill and line in the border i'll make some changes here the width of the line i'll take around 2 point or 2.5 and the compound type i'll take this double and just close this our chart will look like this now select the chart, go to the insert and then I'll go to the shapes and I will insert this line here. So just click on this line and insert this line here. Make sure you have pressed shift key so your line will be straight like this. And we will keep the same formatting for this line. Right click, go to the format object and here we will fill the same line color. This one light blue and the width will take around 2.5 again and the compound type we will take double. Similarly, we will insert another line here. So just select the chart, insert shapes and I will insert another line and this time I will drag this line here. And we will put this same formatting here. So just right click, go to the format object. Line color will take light blue. Width we will take 2.5 and compound type double. Now we will move this slicer here. All right, now we can make this slightly bold, slightly bigger and black. And we will change the line color also. So this line, we can take the same line. We'll go to the solid line and the same color, this light blue and 2.5 bit and compound type you can take double now we will adjust our top line according to this if you will see it is not connected with the bottom line so what i will do just select this plot area and change the size like this 
so it's looking good now we can make the chart title dynamic so what i will do i'll go to the support sheet and here i'll go to this pivot so right click click on show pivot field in the filters i'll drag this department and just close this now let's say i'm just selecting here all if it is all then it will look like this if you will select any two department together then it will be multiple items otherwise it will be all in brackets so here i'm putting let's say chart title then i will put if formula here if and i'll take or then i'll use if this b1 value is equal to all and the second condition if this b1 value equal to multiple item then we will display employee count by age group otherwise if any one department is selected then we will take an inverted comma and will take this value so this is our chart title now we can connect our chart title with this cell so i'll go to the chart title just click on chart title go to the formula bar press equal to go to this sheet and just click on f1 and press enter so you can see our chart title because we have selected two values here so make it black and bold now just select any one slicer you can see it is displaying employee counts by age group for it department hr operations and finance so that is how you can create this chart in the next part of this video you will learn how can you create the same chart using this option button Please watch the next part of this video. Thank you so much for watching.